All right, so here is the deal, boys. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past, but I completely stopped consuming any Yu-Gi-Oh! content ever since GX ended. So, you know, uh, I don't. I just know the basics. In stream last time, Chris and all the other ones in my chat explained a little bit how XYZ cards work, but all the rest, you know, like Synchro cards, Pendulum, freaking link i don't know what's happening so i downloaded the game yesterday but I'm, you know i'm still i'm still i'm still a little green behind the ears i'd say so i think one thing that i can tell you guys first is one deck that i used to play is the ancient gear deck and people have been telling me that you know the ancient gear deck has been updated and stuff like that i want to continue the gear saga right the ancient gear saga all right calling chris i'm doing it i'm doing it Whew. all right Okay, boy, where, how do I start? What, what do I do? I did pull a little bit already yesterday. The stuff you pulled, did you buy the bundles that exist in the shop? Uh, let's go back to the shop. The only things that I pulled, I didn't go for structure like, deck. I went for master yeah. pack. Go to special. Da, 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 da. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. go to bundle deal. These ones are like must haves. These are 10 packs yeah. of the, the master pack, but for the price of 7.5 packs and... <laughs> They also give you one copy of each of like a really important card that is played in almost every single deck. Like, so the third one you see there, Ash Blossom, mm -hmm. that is a card that is played in literally every single deck. It It's a card that disables your opponent from searching stuff. If you see what it says, right? It says like when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, you can discard this card, negate that effect. So if your opponent, for example, like uses an effect that says like, you know, they, they use a spell that mm -hmm. says search your deck for a warrior type monster. Then if you activate Ash Blossom, it just negates it. So they can no longer search. And then usually they're just fucked because their whole strategy was like built on searching out that warrior and starting a combo, right? Oh, wow. So this so, is like, like this... mad broke. <laughs> so let's just go for it then, I guess. Yeah, just go for it. And yeah. you get one for free and it's a UR. So it's like a, it's, it's a top rarity card. Oh boy. So you can then just craft two instead of needing to craft three. It's good that you show me this. Like, otherwise I'd be just be like, all right, let's go with the other boosters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, boy. And these are pendulum cards, right? Yes, that's a pendulum. And this is like this this card, Servant of Endymion, yeah. is literally the example card that people send on Twitter when people are like, uh, you know, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards are so hard, you know, like that they like show this as an example of like literally like two fucking book chapters in one card. <laughs> There's three different rarities, like base rarity, and then mm -hmm. like those foils, and there's like prismatic, and prismatic are like super, super shiny. The crafting system in this game is really, really good. You know, you see the rarities are like N is common, R yeah, is yeah. rare, SR is like super rare, and then the, the last one is UR, which is ultra rare. And the nice thing is, is like when you disenchant a card of like, let's say like a UR, yeah. you get 10 materials, and then when you want to make a UR, it costs 30. Three dud cards equals one card you want for any rarity, which is really, really good. Wow. So yeah, just like that, look at that, mm -hmm. you got. And now we got awesome okay yeah, and just open 10 packs for the price of seven and a half which is very which nice which is nuts there's some more special bundles so let's let me talk about the other ones let's look mm -hmm. at solemn judgment i think that's more recognizable yeah and that also one a I know. Card that's, so yeah like you get one free solemn judgment here on top of 10 packs for the price of seven and a half but you really want to get all three of these bundles because the spell yeah. one the last bundle is also really good oh yeah and the one thing that's really broken about the pack system in this game is that when you open oh you got a ur let's go oh boy oh boy oh boy hold up let's go let's see it oh Oh, it's a foil, which means the cool thing about the foils and the prismatics is that when you kill a foil, it gives 15 of the material. And when oh. you kill a prismatic, it gives 30 of the material. So it literally immediately be exchanged for any other UR you need. So do you just like sit down and like at one point just you get rid of so many of your cards? Yep. Oh, okay, literally okay. just go through and just filter shit out. That must have taken like a long ass time though, no? The game has a like kill all extras option too. Oh, so nice. anything you have more than three times. So what type of deck are you currently playing? I play Salamangrade, which is like a deck that uses mostly links to mm -hmm. like make a bunch of like basically search a bunch of cards from deck. It has like really strong traps and like a, a way to revive monsters from the grave. Mm -hmm. And then you basically the winning play is to make this monster that just swings twice at the opponent for like 5,000 plus damage. Just, like, I usually just kill people in one turn. <laughs> Hexe, Trude. Right. Nice. Very German. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> Trude, yeah. Yeah, ja, die Trude, ja. Yeah. Okay, so now you have different ones. And all of these are enabled for like 24 hours? Yes, exactly. And the cool thing about how to make these packs pop up is that you literally can craft an yeah. SR or a UR of that specific archetype. So in your case, like an Ancient Gear, yeah. and you unlock the pack immediately for 24 hours. So you don't have to like just pull it. You can also just craft a card of oh, that archetype. That's so archetype. good. And then you can just pull after that, right? Exactly. Oh, exactly. really, really nice. All right. Uh, so I think let's go back to story, right? The solo stuff. Yeah, I think we can go through the the, the story. Let's go into solo and just uh, go through the tutorial stuff. Oh, right. -o. 
I love the aesthetic of the game. Like they did a super good job with it, though. All right, so let's see. This was for Crystal, which was like thousand five points. Also, treats on all fiber high monster. Okay, and oh, uh, and we get also a specific card as like rewards. Yeah, so the story gives some really powerful cards. It gives like Raigeki, which is like the spell that kills all of your opponent's monsters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives a monster reborn, if I remember correctly. Bro. <laughs> it gives like reinforcement of the army, which is a powerful search spell as well. It's very nice. All right, what do we have here? Is that not just like the regular tributing? Yes, exactly. Okay, so okay. this will teach you everything about summoning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So starting off with tributes, which are the most basic form. The oh, main you got face the, the second buddy one. already. Bro, I had to. <laughs> Let's go. He makes little noises too when you when you deal damage. You can click on him. He'll interact as well. Oh, let's. Yo, that's actually happening. What? <laughs> it's actually so cool. I think like just the aesthetics of the, the board itself and everything. And also, bro, the music in this game. Yeah. Like just having your stream on in the back with the music playing, dude, is so good. All right. Nice 1800. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, they're not really teaching you much about tributing here, but I guess tributing is pretty like it's very you know, straightforward kind of still. Yeah, how it works. Yeah, like you tribute one for a level six or five, and you tribute two for a level seven and above. Also, the music okay, change, yeah, you know? very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was perfectly timed with the fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and so now we got I Geki nice. All right, so, so this, this one, one is. Gonna be... Nice. Alright, so he's going mad defense, I suppose. Bada beam, bada boom. Alright. I just want to check this. It's probably Link Monster. Let, let's see, just click on it. Defender of the Labyrinth. Labyrinth, yeah. I mean, I'm getting into Link eventually. You can try, you can try. So just like select it and it'll tell you how, how it works. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's you can target one non-effect monster and special summon it. What the? This mega kid. Yeah, all right. So what you need to do for a Link monster, so it said the conditions to summon this were two non-effect monsters, right? Yeah. So you literally take two non-effect monsters and just put them to the grave. And that's how you summon a Link? So it's, it's like just by fusion, condition? It's like a fusion without using polymerization. Like, it's literally... It's really that easy. I thought it was like, way I more difficult. Is, I think this is by far the easiest summoning mechanic. Nice. What's what the does anime, this they mean? Think the right side. So every Link monster has these little arrows, right? Yeah, yeah. And you'll notice that like when you when you summon this, you could only summon it to those like the middle part, right? Yeah. But if you would let's say next turn make another Link monster, mm -hmm. you can instead summon it to a zone that the arrow points to. So like the bottom left oh, and the bottom right. This one, okay. Exactly, because obviously if your opponent plays Link monsters, they can only summon to the other middle zone. So it's kind of like that's like the only thing about links is that you have to kind of like be careful where you put them because mm -hmm. they kind of have to like point to each other uh, in order to make it so that you can keep summoning more. What happens though if like so you you said if I had not a Link one, I could place it over here. And over yes. here, right? But yes. what happens if I um if if this one just gets destroyed? Do these they get destroyed there. as well? Oh, okay. okay. No, nope, just stay there. Okay. It's just for the summoning that it cares about the positioning. It'll tell you like before the opponent's turn ends or something. Because if he gets destroyed, he'll summon a normal monster right back out, right? But that's so good. Why is that yeah. so good? Why yeah. is this allowed? <laughs> yeah, and you get this for free. Damn, link cards are like reassuring us. Hell. And now you can use this now. now. You can, yeah, now I can do this yep. and bring back the link card. You can bring back the link. And Bro. now when you special summon a link, he actually doesn't care about the extra monster zones. Oh. So you can put him in the main monster zones. Nice. So yeah, that's what they're called. Like, so the first five are called the main monster zones and the, the ones in the middle are called the extra monster zones. Oh, okay, okay. Let's bash. Oosh. Oh yeah, and like the thing about Links is like so because the Gaia, he's a Link three. But when you Link summon the other Link monsters, you use as the materials. You count the arrows they have as the number of materials. That makes what? Sense. So because you're summoning a Link three, the Labyrinth guy, he counts as two materials. So you just take one more monster. Oh wow! And there you go. Yeah, this is called Link climbing. Because you're basically this was just like climbing up the ladder of like Link one, Link two, Link three, Link four. All right, all right. This taught me already a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learned about links before it taught you about links. <laughs> <laughs> You usually summon one monster per turn, however, you can summon more than one monster per turn by utilizing special summons. Uh, use unexpected die, part of the haunted, and monster reborn from the previous chapter to the time. Yeah, okay. Well, we know that. If you control oh, yeah. no monsters, special summon one level four or lower normal monster from the deck? Yes. Don't mind so if I do. Yeah, yeah. What is the tuner thing again? Uh, we'll learn about that when we do synchros. So, like, you know when, you know, to make electricity, you need a conductor? Yeah. That's what a tuner is. In order to make a synchro, you need a tuner. Okay, okay. I keep that in mind. Oh, shit. Do you have a game here? Yeah, you got a game already. <laughs> Bruh. Got him. Okay, so, so the, the link shit I can get behind now. It's actually easier than I thought. <laughs> it's really straightforward. And that's the most recent summoning mechanic too. Here Ooh. we'll use a method calling Synchro Monsters <gasps> from the extra deck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's learn Synchros. Oh boy. Oh, this is like super nostalgic cards too. This is like the dark magician of, of fucking... <laughs> of Synchro? Of the Synchro era, yeah. <laughs> what a Synchro summon. 
This summon method allows you to bring out synchro monsters. You must first gather to the field the material listed on the synchro monster you want to summon. Every synchro monster will need a kind of monster called a tuner to be summoned, but the specific monster you will need will depend on each synchro monster. Yeah, so basically you need the specific card, Junk Synchron, yeah. plus literally any monster as long as it doesn't have the tuner attribute. So the level is basically the two monsters that you use as yeah. material to synchro summon have to add up to that level. Oh, wow. So Junk Synchron is a level three. You basically have to put him and a level two to the grave in order to synchro summon Junk Warrior. So oh, okay, now tuner. I see it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ching, ching, adds up to level five. Oh, you can also place them over here? Yes. All cards from the extra deck can be placed there. So also oh. like fusion monsters. Fusion and, and stuff. Everything. Ritual as well? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, rituals, uh. I think... Uh, not sure. Yeah, the animation is super sick for Damn, it. Damn, bro, the animations are so clean. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's, that's how Synchro works. Okay, so it's not as nerve-wracking as I thought. No, it's just, it's like, just have to do a little math. Like, yeah, you have to yeah. add up the levels and that's it. There are many monsters with no attack defense that can help you in those with special attacks. Summoning Marvin Captain, when the previous chapter you can draw a new card instead of returning a card to your deck. If that card is a monster, you can switch. Alright, we know that one, yes. And you get the reinforcement of the army, which is really good. It's still played in some decks, because it searches any level 4 lower warrior monster, which is really Damn. good. Sheesh. I love the animation on this. Yeah, so it's fine. You lost 100. Oh, you summon hold another on. guy. Oh, that's a flip summon. All right. What you could do is summon like Toon Warrior or something, and then bash into the other face down. This one, just yeah. Just to kind of like check it. And then after that, you can just like bash into the, the other face down and then use the trap to kill it or something like that. Okay. Let me guess. Flip monster again. Oh, what a fucking surprise. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, let's let's chum chillin'. Could have seen this coming. I was thinking using my trap in the graveyard to mm -hmm. buff him up yeah and then attack with this one first and then using him yeah give it a try give it a try and now it's time to seal the deal big boy attacking coming through Oosh. good shit nice 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 all right i'm getting the hang of it dude you're helping a lot yeah you're helping good a shit, lot good shit. <laughs> i'm here to make card games less scary <laughs> okay xyz you explained a little bit already so it's good to finally get into it so, this summoning method allows you to bring up XYZ monsters. You must first gather uh, to the field the number of monsters listed in the XYZ monsters description as material. We have two level forms. Okay. Uh, the level of each material must match the XYZ monsters rank in numerical value. Most XYZ monsters require two monsters of the same level, but others may require three or more. Some may also require material specific types and or attributes. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So it's not like an addition or anything, it's just like they need to match. Yes, exactly. So the unique thing about XYZ monsters is that they don't have a level. Like their value is called a rank. So it's like, you know, they're not level four, they're rank four. Like let's say you have a spell that says, uh, I'd like, you know, revive a level four monster from your graveyard. So then you will not be able to target like a dead X X X X Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Oh, dude, hell yeah. So convenient. Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I already right. love like the new playstyle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's go get into it. Uh, so this is where we just set defensive and pass. I hate it here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. Yeah. Let's pray. We might have to just restart this one or just like lose it and restart it. Just so you still get some XP for your level up. Completely I think the different. AI just drew too many good cards, to be honest. <laughs> God damn, even the AI hates me, dude. They are so God strong, Chris. <laughs> They're killing me. I'm Mama. fighting for my life. <laughs> Bruh. I'm getting eviscerated, guys. dude. Just kill epic me already. All right. Tutorial moment. <laughs> epic. All right, let's hope for a little better luck this time. Oh, he's doing it again, Chris. Help me. <laughs> no, it's still fine. At least I'm not getting it handed in the first turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think then instead, I'm just gonna, yeah, Some play of the one biggest of those. Guy, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, what did oh. I do? No, I thought it was a fact. It's okay. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. It's easy to think also because like, oh, attack or like use an effect, but it's like, yeah. oh, he was like flashing. I was like, ah, monkey yeah, brain yeah, go yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get, I get baited by that too. I feel bad. He was defeating me so hard, and now I'm like, the roll okay. switch, dude. Kill him. <laughs> Do it. No mercy. Oh, dude, XYZ, Synchro, and Link have such broken effects. Like, I'm not even used to them. <laughs> All right, next practice. Here we'll use the Pendulum Summon, a method of summoning multiple Pendulum Monsters. Multiple? Yes. All right, let's see what it is. So, what Pendulum Summons? The summoning method allows you to special summon multiple monsters at once. Pendulum Monsters are marked with special numbers called the Pendulum Scale, which is important for Pendulum Summoning. They also have Pendulum Effects that can be used when they're being treated as spell. When they are tr being treated as spell cards? So, the thing about Pendulum cards is that they are both monsters and spells at the same time. Oh, I see by so, the design now. All right, yeah. So, you see, the bottom part is a spell, the top yeah. part is a monster. And the thing is that they actually occupy the leftmost and the rightmost, like, spell and trap zones. So, you'll notice how, like, these two monsters they showed have a scale of, like, one has two and the other yeah. one has eight, right? Yeah. 
So if you put the 2 1 on the left side and the 8 1 on the right side, you'll be able to summon monsters from your hand that are in between that range, between 2 and 8. So any if you have like five or six monsters that are literally like in between those levels, you just shit them out all at once. Or I guess only five because you have only five spaces. It's so odd. My brain is like, bruh, these yeah. monsters are not allowed on this side. Just just click on it. Monsters. Pendulum yep. summon. And then just yeah, so all of them? Circuit. Yep, just all of them. Wait, what level are they? Seven? Seven. I cannot believe this. This is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, yeah, face up. Oh, bruh. And this is counted as a special summon, by the way, so you can still normal summon after that. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, we, okay. Uh, oh. All right, we have the finish line. All right, all right, all right. Here we'll use Link summon. Oh yeah, we. Yeah. We know. Go pick we up are, your free 600 gems. We are well versed in You're, Link summon. You already, you already got your credits for this class. <laughs> <laughs> we graduated in Link summoning. I'm so glad Ancient Gear still got support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought like, yeah, I come back and it's like, it's literally what it is. Ancient fucking gears. Uh, all right. Nicer. No, I think this will unlock the other. The absolute oh, no, I think monarch. you have to do the, the monarch story and then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe even both of them and then it unlocks a fuck ton of others. Bruh. I, I mean, like I'm 10 down. 10 or so in total. Give me Let's those go. gems, baby. <laughs> wow, 10. Bruh. Bruh. Base. <laughs> Let's go! Gotta get a quick pog champ for 10 gems. <laughs> let's go! Alright, so let's go into the shop, get the special one. The last one that yeah, we... Yeah, get the last bundle. Alright, let's let's go. And you get it for virtually free. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy good. <gasps> two you of them, two nice. Woo. Let's go. Nice. Oh, I wanted this one like so badly. That used to be like my ish back then. Let me just check. Do they have like essays on them? They have like actual doctor the dissertations. The Endymion cards in particular. Endymion cards are literally walls of text. Oh yes, the volcanic one. Where the real people in my chat. You know this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Every fossil in the chat goes like, I know. I know this. It's been 3,000 years. <laughs> so basically, when you open a secret pack, the first four cards will be random from like random other packs. The other four cards will always only come from these featured cards. Okay, so how do we do it? Let's say I want the Ancient Gear secret pack. So let's go to deck. Okay, so guide me, master. Okay, so let's search Ancient Gear. There's a button next to the search that'll show cards you don't own yet. So you got all the, your whole your whole squad out here. Oh my god. Yeah. So now, if you want to unlock the Ancient Gear pack, you can literally craft any SR or you are, but I would say start with SRs. And so I think it's probably pretty safe to craft the Link monster because I'm assuming it's going to be used. It sounds pretty good too. It sounds pretty good. So how do we craft it? You see on the bottom left, you see generate and then it's like SR minus 30. That literally means you will lose 30 of your SR crafting materials, which you have 56 of. But trust me, you're going to get a lot more from dusting your old shit. So just um, press generate this? Yep, exactly. Generate. And now pops up a key. Oh, and that's the secret. Oh, 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 oh. And you get a one free pull. So you get one you... free pull? Yes. So every time you craft a card of an archetype that you haven't crafted yet, yeah. it will give you a free pull of a pack. Damn. I think let's just go ahead and, and summon. Let's yeah, just, we'll just, let's we'll just pull. Open. And let's... Ooh. So these four are like the ancient gear ones you said, right? These first four will be random. Yeah, these first four are random and these are like ancient gear stuff. Yes, exactly. So you have a UR already. Oh, oh the golem straight away. Man, I love Fucking it. Let's go. Oh, hey. fuck me up. Oh, hey. baby. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a prismatic. That's oh my prismatic. God, it looks pretty. So this, like, if you get rid of this, you'll get the 30 SR material. So you oh, literally damn. can make another SR out of it. <laughs> Milady. <laughs> Tips for Dora, Milady. Nicer, nicer, nicer. Ooh, yes, nice. And a good, 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 nice. good. I'm actually surprised we only got, like, one Vibrant so far, you know? But we've been doing good. We've been getting some good pulls. So yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm not complaining. I think like we got overall like really good ones. Even on my my first free pull was oh, bruh. Speaking, speaking of which, holy fuck. Let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, we got a UR. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh shit. Damn. Zam. Yeah, that's not even damn. That's Zam. Oh, let's go. Nice. Finally. Actually, nice. Uh, yeah, that's good. Maybe maybe quickly check like the ancient gears you've pulled, just so we can kind of see what you've made. One thing I want you to do quickly is go top right, you see the three lines? Dismantle all extra cards. Anything you have more than three copies of each rarity, it'll just kill instantly. Oh, yeah. thank God they have this shit. And now let's search Ancient Gear and see what you pull. Oh, and then we see like which one we haven't gotten yet, right? What's the UR you don't have? Oh, that's Gear Town. Oh, it's oh, UR? I haven't what the gotten fuck? Gear Town yet? That's a UR, that's crazy, wow. Well, it's yeah. okay, we'll craft it. Like, look at your crafting materials. You have 103 UR materials. You can oh, only make three ultra rares with that. Dude, thank you so much for showing me the entire thing. This 
has been honestly super fucking helpful. Yeah, and shout outs to the chat that hung out. Thanks y'all for, for hanging as well. Yes, yes, I thank think, you very much. I hope you had fun. Uh, yeah. I think we're gonna call it a day. Chris, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>